<laughs> I'm Fran Doucette and I'm the director of the food pantry here in Gorham and we are celebrating our grand opening today and today is February 7th, 2009. I want to thank the citizens of Gorham and the businesses of Gorham and just everyone who has donated and sustained us in the last 11 years. Without you, we wouldn't be here. We are open every Thursday from 9 to 11 and the second Wednesday of the month from 6 to 7.30. Uh, any citizen of Gorham can come in. We turn no one away. We're very happy to help out our neighbors and our friends. We have, as, as you've probably seen, we have a good variety of goods here, which are mostly donated by the churches in Gorham. We do shop at Good Shepherd Food Bank in Auburn twice a month. We have frozen food, frozen meats. We also have uh, fruit and vegetables, which are donated by a local market local uh, supermarket. We have volunteers. If anyone would like to volunteer, we're more than happy to do that uh, to try and fit you in. The contact number is 839-2593. High school students, please check with us. We do do community service hours, high school and junior high people. And we are always in need of hands to help get our stuff on the shelves and just do the work that has to be done around here. When we were thinking about the Capitol Drive, um, we asked uh, Phil Sherman to kind of give us a, a perhaps sort of a, like, like a little sound bite or something. And Phil's, uh, Phil's sort of question to the community in the, in the campaign letter was, you know, does Gorham care? And he said, I, I, I think we always have. Um, and this is a chance to give the answer and with the with the outgiving of time and, and monies and everything uh, it certainly answered that question you know the community has just stepped forward and and uh, you know Gorham, Gorham does care and I, I think you know the the uh, dealing with food pantries throughout the state and, and everywhere I think you know the first obviously thing you think of is food uh, but it's been it's just been so clear that that the bigger part of this, the, this pantry and most pantries is the fact that people care. Uh, food is critical, but caring is even more so. So it, it's been tremendous. My name is Diane O'Neill. I'm on the board of directors. And this is just so, so rewarding to see where, so how far this has come. And the turnout today and the amazing, just the giving from the Gorm community. It's overwhelming and in fact very emotional just to see what the need in the community is and that there are so many willing to just help out and to think back to how many years this has been coming you know how much work has gone into getting us to this point and how my, how many times we thought we had a new home and things didn't work out and all the meetings that we've sat through and presentations that had to be made and just so many things behind the scenes that went into it. Just, you know, too much to say. So the emotion is just high for me. I, I, I'm very excited about it. Is it fair to say you're proud of this community? Very proud. The outturning is not only in those that worked on the physical building that put in their time, their supplies, their man hours, their own workers and staff that they let come here and work um, but just the, the donation of outright of time people donating their time their resources their money um, everything from St. Anne's Church and the state and the town and just every single person it took hundreds of people to make it happen and um, I don't think every community could say that they could do that one of our first clients 11 years ago was a gentleman who lived here in Gorham. He actually was involved in the building of St. Anne's Church. However, he had been poisoned by asbestos and concrete dust and had hardening of the lungs. He came in and every 
couple of times he'd ask for more pasta and spaghetti uh, and sauce than we normally give out to a single person. And finally, one of our volunteers asked him why. And come to find out, in his in his neighborhood, they had a neighborhood dinner once a month where all the neighbors got together and brought food and had a neighborhood dinner. How many of us who live in different neighborhoods in Gorm can say that we even know our neighbors' names or even meet with them on a monthly basis? My second story is about a couple here in Gorm that ran into some bad luck with employment and they came to us and until things straightened out. And then we didn't see them again for about six months and all of a sudden they came in one day with 30 bags of groceries. That these are, they wanted to donate back because they had been helped in their time of need and they wanted to help somebody else in their time of need. These are just two examples of the many, 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 many people that come through our doors. Young, old, employed, unemployed, but there's one thing that they all have in common. They're all in need of help and maybe just in need of a friend. And we try and provide that for them. <laughs> Okay. Very good. We're up. Help me here. Help me. We're pretending. Yeah, look up, Fred. All right, here we go. Ready? Oh!